Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss problem based on absorption column. In these problems, we will see how to calculate actual flow rate of solute free solvent in the column. If we know minimum flow rate of solute free solvent. If you know the answer to any question, please comment in the comment box. And if you like my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Idda. So let's see the first question. In absorber, benzene is recovered from coal gas. By scrubbing it with wash oil is an absorbent. That is solvent. The coal gas is fed at rate of 900 meters cube per hour. And contains 2% by volume benzene. It enters at a temperature of 300 Kelvin. And 107.324 kilopascals pressure. The solvent enters which contains. 0.005 mole fraction of benzene and has an average molecular weight of 260. If 95% of the benzene is recovered by the solvent, calculate the circulation rate of oil that is solvent per hour when the column is operated at 1.5 times the minimum oil circulation rate. The equilibrium relationship is given, where Y is mole ratio of benzene to benzene free coal gas and X is mole ratio of benzene to benzene free solvent. Hence in this problem we have to calculate the solvent flow rate to the absorber when it is 1.5 times of the minimum oil circulation rate. That means First we have to calculate L minimum. Then from this we can calculate L actual. That is actual solvent flow rate. Now let's solve this sum. For that we take bases as 900 meters cube per hour coal gas feed rate. So to calculate L dash. We take material balance of benzene over tower. V dash into Y1 minus Y2 is equal to L dash minimum into X1 minus X2. Hence from this equation, we can say that if we know Y1, Y2, X1, X2 and V dash, then we can calculate L dash minimum. And from this actual solvent flow rate can be calculated. So, Let's find out these terms one by one. Hence let's first calculate Y1. So as we know in the sum given that inlet gas contain 2% by volume benzene. Hence mole fraction of benzene in inlet gas. That is Y1 is equal to 2 divided by 100 which is equal to 0.02. Now from this we can calculate mole ratio that is y1 which is equal to moles of benzene divided by moles of benzene free coal gas which is equal to y1 divided by 1 minus y1 after solving we get y1 is equal to 0.0204 now let's calculate y2 so as we have given 95% of the benzene recovered. Hence we can calculate Y2 is equal to 1 minus 0.95 into Y1. So after putting values and solving it, we get Y2 is equal to 0.00102. Now, let's calculate V dash. That is molar flow rate of benzene free coal gas. But in the sum we have given volumetric flow rate of coal gas which is 900 meter cube hour. 
So first we have to find V. That is molar flow rate of gas. So from ideal gas equation we get N is equal to PV divided by RT. So after putting values and solving it we get N is equal to 38.72 kmol per hour. Hence we get V. That is molar flow rate of gas. Which is equal to 38.72 kmol per hour. So we can calculate V dash as V dash is equal to V into 1 minus Y1. So after putting values and solving it, we get V dash is equal to 37.95 kmol per hour. Now let's calculate X2. So as we have given mole fraction of benzene in solvent at inlet. That is X2 is equal to 0.005. Hence at inlet. Mole ratio that is X2 calculate as moles of benzene divided by moles of benzene free solvent. So after putting and solving it, we get X2 is equal to 0.005025. Now let's calculate X1. That is mole ratio of benzene to benzene free solvent at outlet. So to calculate X1, we have to use equilibrium relationship. Hence when I, that is molar flow rate of benzene free wash oil, is minimum. From the equilibrium relationship we can write Y1 divided by 1 plus Y1 is equal to 0.125 into X1 divided by 1 plus X1. So when Y1 is equal to 0.0204, this relation can be written as So after solving this equation, we get X1 is equal to 0.1904. Hence we get all values. That is, X1 is equal to 0.1904. X2 is equal to 0.005025. Y1 is equal to 0.0102. V dash is equal to 37.95 kmol per hour. Y2 is equal to 0.0204. Hence, now we can calculate L dash minimum. So from material balance of benzene over absorber, we get. After putting values and solving it, we get. L dash minimum is equal to 3.97 kmol per hour. Hence we get. Minimum flow rate of benzene free solvent. That is L dash minimum is equal to 3.97 kmol per hour. Now from this let's calculate. Actual flow rate of benzene free solvent. That is L dash actual. So we have given. The column is operated at. 1.5 times the minimum oil circulation rate. Hence we get. L dash actual is equal to. 1.5 times L dash minimum. So after putting values and solving it, we get L dash actual is equal to 5.96 kmol per hour. Hence we get actual flow rate of benzene free solvent equal to 5.97 kmol per hour. If we multiply it by average molecular weight, that is 260. We get actual flow rate of benzene free solvent is equal to 1549.6 kg per hour. That's all about problem based on absorption column in which we discussed how to calculate actual flow rate of solute free solvent when minimum solute free solvent is given. In the next video, we will discuss other problem based on this.
If you like my video, please like my video. Share this video with your friends. And subscribe to my YouTube channel.